Hey boys, happy holidays to you. Um, this is going to be um, a lesson on some uh, more Robert Lockwood. Uh, I had a, a friend of mine ask me about doing a Lockwood intro, so I went scouring through some of my records. And uh, I do have a document record, um, it's a compilation that has some early recordings of uh, Lockwood. And he plays this fantastic uh, intro on uh, Black Spider. And um, I'll play it, and I'll, then I'll be able to uh, uh, kind of explain the theory and at least the way that I approach it. And I think it has good application um, in, um, in your country blues and Chicago blues playing. So if you need an intro, this is, I think, an ear catcher. Uh, definitely very derivative of some Lonnie Johnson ideas. And um, so check it out. And there's a couple ways that you can play it. You can flat pick it. Um, or hybrid pick with a flat pick or use a thumb pick. Um, my preference is with the thumb pick. For all the guys that I look at, uh, be it Jimmy Rogers or Eddie Taylor, it seemed that the fingers were the, um, you know, was, was where they had their most confidence in executing some of these, these lines. And I've seen Lockwood, um, I don't know what he did back in the 40s. There's some old footage uh, with no sound. Um, if him playing with Sonny Boy out in front of a grocery store, and he is using his fingers, and it obviously by the ensemble, it's a country blues, um, um, you know, uh, you know, you know, era. That's that's how he played. So check this out. It's gonna be five to the one. So you know, most blues if we start, it's gonna be in the key of A. You know, if we play, you know, it's gonna be. And this is in generic terms. We play the five, four, and then on that downbeat of the one is when we would hit the um, the turnaround. But watch this. We're going to take the five, and we're going to keep that E. So we got eighth notes on the top and quarter notes on the bottom. And if the middle finger brushes up on that second string, it'll sound good. So, and then the four chord, what we think is the four chord, looks something like this, right? But I'll explain why it's not a four chord. What it is, is he is playing two bars of the five before he goes back to the one. So it's not... So two bars of the five to the one. So this little piece that we're playing right here, this. Is over the five chord. So it's another bar of the five. What it is, if you want to take a look at this in this concept, if I use a Z, uh, a C grip, root three, five, root three. Well, if I play this right here, it looks like a minor shape. So it's functioning as an E6 chord, right? I have the six, the root, and the three. We'll stretch this up by one. That's gonna give you the flat seven. has a nice sound to it and I believe this is the way he would play it, not only because of where the um, the register of notes and the you know this is but it's also you've seen things on so you know he's he uses these you know sorts of voicings in the past um, and I think it's uh, period correct as well so this is going to be an E7. And we have this walk up that's going to encroach upon the A structure E. That's great. What I love about um, you know this grip is that you get it shares the same root here on the fifth string, but you get this grip and you get this grip, the A grip. And so you have these nice lines that could span, you know, like six frets. 
So we have this, which is like a. Sorry about that. And then what we're going to do is it's going to hit the... Um, at this point, it's it's leading into the 1, right? But it's it's a passing tone. It's a flat 5, which works well, you know, on a, as, a, as a passing tone on the 5 to the 1. And we're just going to play this double stop here with the third and the root in the top. So we have this, right? We have... Let's play that again. You got a string jump right there. Now we come down to the turnaround. The turnaround, we're familiar with this. I consider it a G structure, um, you know, where it, you know, connects to the A structure, the A. So we're going to have this, we're used to doing this. Well, instead of doing that chromatic run from the 7 down, we're going to play it diatonically. So we have the seven, flat seven, six. Then we're gonna hit the five, seven, six, five, three. Now we're gonna go down to here, this A7, and hit seven, six. Major third of the E. So we're going to go. Now, if you haven't picked up um, my lesson on country blues, I've done some of this. I, I call this like the, the Lockwood roll where you hit, hit the notes and then you have this, this kind of, it's not a banjo roll, but a, a blues roll, right? It's a nice syncopation and uh, percussive device that gets us, um, you know, um, you know the feel we're looking for, and definitely derivative of Robert Lockwood. So we get this seven six five. And we're in the one. Now I would recommend picking up the song because there's some great ideas. probably do another lesson on that but you know for right now you can chew on playing this uh, intro so check it out at this point there's no bass line uh, um, you know reinforcement and you're gonna hit the so we we'll do it again cleaner but it's a good way to get into it and I also recommend if you want to try using a thumb pick I think that's going to get you a little closer to the mark the only thing that um, the advantage of having the thumb pick is it frees up this finger so if you play this you get the you're, and you got to use the thumb to use. Believe me, I'm no expert at using a thumb pick, but uh, I think the sound is a little more accurate. Um, anyways, happy holidays, and I will uh, be talking to all of you guys soon.